welcome to Good Works Tractors. From snow to mow, Good Works Tractors is the place to go. Shop GoodWorksTractors.com, subscribe to our channel below, like our Facebook page, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hey there guys, Good Works Tractors here. This is just a really quick tip on uh, how you can gain an inch of space to make your tractor fit in some really tight circumstances. And let me hop up here and you can see, and yeah, yeah, that's tight. But believe it or not, it was even tighter than that. And so I was actually rubbing on the, uh, just the bottom side of that flat trim there previously. And so I'm actually happy with this, <laughs> believe it or not. So I have gained a half inch, three quarters of an inch, probably something like that. And, uh, and, it, and I'll post a video too, where you can see originally when I first got this tractor, that the back of the green here, the toppest part, which, or the, the highest part, the toppest part, the highest part, it was uh, rubbing there. You can see how it slopes down. So this front part is not really much of a concern. However, that back section there was literally touching the, uh, the top there. And so how I gained that extra half or three quarters of an inch was actually letting some air out of the tires, which you can't really even tell too much, um, which is what you do typically when you're gonna load them. And so these tires were air only, and I just had them loaded today with liquid ballast. It's called TL90. It's uh, another byproduct of beet juice. It is not the um, uh, rim guard that you see a lot of the time, but it's clear. It's the same, the same concept and everything about it. It doesn't corrode, it doesn't freeze, that kind of thing. And so I had these tires loaded with 75% uh, fill. Okay, but they let some of the air out when they do that. Reason being is it gives it a little bit cushier, softer ride uh, when, when you have the, the tires loaded that way. And so you can't really even tell if you look at it, maybe you can tell they're slightly uh, underinflated, very slightly, but it's just enough to really buy yourself three quarters of an inch, half of an inch. And so um, I was really concerned with the, the fit here. And in fact, while I did get it in and out of this, this unit here, I could not get it underneath this pipe, okay? This pipe actually sat down just a hair lower. It slopes, There's a, it starts three units over that way, or two units over that way, and slopes down as it comes across here, okay? And so I actually had to stop the tractor before we could even get to that point. And it still fit in the shop here, but uh, that was a big concern. And so anyway, if you are in a real tight pinch there, that is something that may help you. And uh, it helped me in this case here uh, dramatically, really. So it can be very challenging to figure out the true height of the top of these tractors. I mean, one, they're way taller than you or I am, unless you're a giant. And then uh, two, it's trying to make sure you have the right angle that you're looking at and everything else. And so the easier way for me to try to tell is, well, I can tell you the height of this opening that I have here. And then, you know, you can visually see that you have a little bit of a gap there. So, you know, the tractor is less than that height of the opening. And so that opening is not going to change now again. I lowered the height of the tractor by a half inch to three quarters of an inch and I'm more comfortable now driving this in and out of here. And so that was done by loading these tires with liquid ballast. And when you do that, I am not a tire expert, okay? But I rely on tire experts. And so I've been told that when you load these tires with liquid ballast, you are going to lower that air pressure slightly. And so it's gonna cushion the ride a little bit more and make it uh, more stable, more comfortable and less bouncy. And, and swish washy and slish sloshy, that kind of thing. And so uh, that's just a benefit, I guess, if you're looking to save a little bit of height that maybe you want to load your tires because before I did that, I was rubbing just barely, but this was pushed up the whole way like this and I was just barely rubbing the bottom edge of that there, okay? So I'm talking, I mean, an eighth of an inch more and it wasn't happening, okay? And so now it's just barely touching. It's just barely touching the bottom of that weather stripping there, which is, I'm used to that. My F-250 and F-350 back at my home garage do the same thing getting out of there. So, so I'm going to measure this opening for you here and then uh, you'll have your answer. Okay, so I've got that firm over here and tight to the bottom of that top jam. 95 and five eighths, okay, 95 and five eighths. I'm gonna measure this other side too. Okay, so we are looking at 95 and a half on this side over here, okay? So 95 and a half opening is what we're looking at. 
And this tractor, this is a John Deere 4066R tractor, and it's fitting in this opening. Factory cab option on here. Open station would not be a problem because you can fold down the, the ROPS bar, the rollover protection system. But this is a cab version, 95 and a half inches, which is what, two and a half inches underneath eight feet, okay? And it's fitting in here. Five series, um, I have ballparked the height of a five series, could not get you exact, but it looks like it's about six to eight inches higher than a four series cab tractor, okay? And so you are definitely gonna need over an eight foot door to fit a five series cab tractor in your shop. Now, I'll spin this around here really quick so you can see. That's a John Deere 3R series right there, okay? And so I've taken the 3R series in and out of the shop a million times. Um, it's definitely not gonna fit in a seven foot door, but it'll fit in an eight foot door with three or four inches. And so again, this is a factory cab on a John Deere 3R series, okay? This is a 3039R. It will fit in an eight foot door without any issues, okay? This is again, 95 and a half inches and it's fitting with three or four inches on top of it. It's not close enough where it's even worth driving in and out and showing you. So the four series here, you can see how tight of a fit that is. So I just got this tractor in. I uh, sold my 3046 hour open station in the summer. Main thing I needed was more loader capacity. So I had to up it to a four series. Went with the cab version of it. And I can tell you what, I was worried about it fitting inside this, even though I'd seen the measurements and everything else online. But hopefully this gives you um, a little bit more comfort and uh, maybe a way to gain an extra half or three quarters of an inch if you need to without really any detrimental impact to the tractor and the equipment. And so uh, hopefully that helps. If you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.